Uh, welcome back to this set of tutorials on standard electrode potentials. Now we're going to describe the electrochemical cell, particularly focusing on these technical terms, uh, electrode, half cell, salt bridge, electromotive force, uh, potential difference voltage, they're all the same thing, and electrode potential. So the whole thing here is an electrochemical cell. We could say it's made up of two half cells, uh, joined together with a salt bridge and uh, connected with a voltmeter. So uh, the half cell is an electrode which is dipped into a solution of ions. So here the electrodes are copper on the right in the solution of copper ions and then uh, there's a nickel electrode in a solution of nickel ions which makes up the left hand half cell. Uh, this salt bridge here prevents a buildup of charge in the solutions as the redox reactions occur. It does this by being a source of unreactive ions such as potassium K+, uh, nitrate, NO3-, minus, which can flow into either half cell and balance the charge. Uh, finally, the voltmeter records the voltage, which is also called the electromotive force, uh, EMF, or potential difference. And this comes about as each half cell has a different tendency to gain or lose electrons. And therefore, one side of the voltmeter will be uh, positive rel relative to the other. Uh, the cell potential is the electromotive force, uh, or EMF, for a particular cell. And the electrode potential is a little bit more specific. It's the electromotive force for a particular half cell when combined with a reference electrode. But all of these terms here are really uh, uh, measuring that voltage there. So that's it for the description of the electrochemical cell. You might like to have a go at joining up the technical terms with their descriptions. Uh, thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll look at the causes of the voltage and how, can we, how we can interpret this and uh, the conventions used.